Bengals fans, what is going on? Stone Shields on hand for another edition of Bengals Breakdown, our second edition of Bengals Breakdown today, and that is because we got a little bit of breaking news coming out of Cincinnati. Right tackle Trent Brown has been placed on the non-football injury list ahead of training camp. Of course, Bengals start practice tomorrow, and Trent Brown will not be out there. And you might be saying, non-football injury list? He's a football player. What are you talking about? Well, that just means it didn't take place at Cincinnati's facility during a team situation, right? So uh, I don't want to speculate too much, but I would assume that he pulled something or it's just something, uh, you know, on, during the ramp-up process wasn't going well for Trent Brown. So he's sidetracked a little bit. And the Bengals placed him on the non-football injury list uh, very recently. This happened less than an hour ago. And just want to remind you guys that when Bengals breaking news hits, we've got you covered with a video. As you can see, a quick turnaround here with us at Bengals Breakdown. Less than an hour, and we'll have this out for you guys. So make sure you hit that sub button, youtube.com slash Bengals TV, so you're always up to date with all the latest Bengals breaking news. So this is the tweet that the Bengals put out. Very simple. It just says, we have placed offensive tackle Trent Brown on the active non-football injury list. Again, don't want to speculate too much into what exactly it was, if he pulled something or whatever the case may be. Remember, this is the same list that a couple of years ago in 2022 that Lyle Collins found his way on when he had that back injury. So, um, you know, this isn't a super big red flag. I think the Bengals certainly expect him to make a full recovery. And I'm sure more details about the injury will come out, uh, come out going forward. But for now, Orlando, uh, excuse me, Trent Brown will not be out there with Cincinnati day one of training camp. And this is a guy that they brought in in free agency, really hoping to man that right tackle spot for Cincinnati. You know, he's had some success in the National Football League, is a world champion, of course, and, um, you know, had some character concerns with New England, but they kind of really just had a whole... Uh, you know, it was just kind of a clown show over there the past couple of years. So you kind of put that to the side a little bit. But Trent Brown's a guy that the Bengals have a lot of belief in. Zach Taylor has a lot of belief in. And he's a competitor. And he's going to go out there and try to compete and win that job over Amari Smith, which we'll get to that in a second. But um, real quickly, want to get your guys' one-word reaction to Trent Brown's injury. It is the pin comment of today's video. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, that's fine. Head down in the comment section. Let us know what was the first word that came to mind when you saw this news about Trent Brown and the fact that he is not going to be out there for day one of Bengals training camp. One word reaction to Trent Brown's injury. Let us know right now in the comment section. All right, so here's a tweet from Charlie Goldsmith. He does absolutely fantastic work for the Inquirer. He said, Brown can be activated at any point. It'll give Amarius Mims first team reps off the jump it's a competition at right tackle. The Bengals view Brown as a proven commodity with his track record as a pass blocker, but Mims' upside and traits give him a shot to prove himself and win a job. And if you remember, I've really been banging on the drum that is Amarius Mims and his situation with the Bengals. It was one of my bold predictions that he would go out there and actually win this job over Trent Brown and be the Bengals. Uh, starting right tackle week one. Taking a look here at what the whole line looks like. The Bengals certainly expected Trent Brown to be out there week one. Now, this could be the break that Amarius Mims needed to, you know, really push himself over the hump and have an opportunity to go out there week one. Again, want to stress the fact that we do not know the severity of this injury yet for Trent Brown. We just know that he is going to be delayed and in, in terms of the reps that he is going to be getting out at training camp. Amarius Mims in 2023, yeah, he didn't play a ton, but man, when he was out there, he played absolutely stellar football for the Georgia Bulldogs. We've hit it on it a bunch, but Amarius Mims is a guy that would have gotten drafted earlier in the draft from where the Bengals selected him in the first round had he not um, you know, gotten uh, the kinds of playing time that he did at Georgia. Um, Trent Brown not going to be out there for Cincinnati the first couple of days of training camp, and we'll see how long this injury lasts for Trent Brown. But really quickly, want to give a shout out to our friends over at Game Time because today's show is presented by Game Time. And I love the summer because Major League Baseball is in full swing, and I love making the walk down the street from our chat sports offices here for a Reds game every chance I get. 
beat the Braves last night. For whatever reason, they play so well against good teams. Wish they could play the same way against the teams that aren't so good. But that is neither here nor there. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to the first pitch. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB or NFL tickets. With the NFL season just over a month away, you can get tickets to watch the Cincinnati Bengals at Paycor Stadium. Game Time doesn't just have sporting events either. They also have concerts, comedy, theater, and more. And Game Time has so many features that I really appreciate in a ticketing app. They've got those last-minute deals, right? Those flash deals, views from your seat, really getting a panoramic view of where you're sitting before you even buy the tickets. And the most important part, they got that lowest price guarantee. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase, check out GameTime.co for last-minute tickets. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download GameTime today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. All right, let's take a look at what James Rapine had to say when this news broke less than an hour ago. He said, this is a surprise. The Bengals placed offensive tackle Trent Brown on the active non-football injury list. The 10th-year veteran signed a one-year deal with Cincinnati in March. Brown is considered the favorite to start at right tackle. With Brown out, look for rookie Amarius Mims to work with the first-team offense when training camp starts on Wednesday. And again, I really think that this is going to help Amarius Mims. Obviously, you would rather him just go out there and really do it from a competition standpoint, right? But instead, he gets a little bit of a break here. He's going to be getting those reps. He's really going to get thrown out into the fire um, you know, with the Cincinnati Bengals, with the ones right away as a rookie. And I really think that's the best way to learn if you're Cincinnati, right? Just throw him out there and see how he does. Obviously, when the pads come on, we'll see what happens. He might not, you know, he might not be ready to go out there and compete at a National Football League level. That's something that we are going to find out very, very soon. And I want to circle back to this question before we get out of here on today's show. I've asked this to you guys a lot. Pick a right tackle. I've kind of been the minority saying I'm picking Amarius Mims in this situation. Um, you know, a lot of people would probably pick Trent Brown. But I want you guys to pick. Once again, after this latest news, pick a right tackle for me. Type AM for Amarius Mims or type TB for Trent Brown. And let's take a look at what Amarius Mims said during OTAs. He said, I know a lot of people expect big things from me because of where I was drafted. That's the truth. I try to not let that get to me. I just go out there and do what I know I can do. I want to show those guys that they didn't make a mistake. You got to love that mindset from Amarius Mims, really competitive, ready to go out there and prove that Cincinnati made the right decision. These are some of the transactions. We talked about the first three the other day. Obviously, now Trent Brown gets added onto that list. First two guys are on the pup list. Why? Because those uh, injuries happened with the team, right? Um, Devontae Maxwell suffered that injury at um, Bengals training camp last year. And then DJ Ivey, of course, got hurt in the regular season for Cincinnati. And uh, Eric All and Trent Brown having those non-football injuries just because they were not with the Cincinnati Bengals practicing with the team when that happened. Once again, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel here at Bengals Breakdown when Bengals breaking news strikes. Uh, we will have all the latest updates. So hit that sub button, youtube.com slash Bengals TV.